And speaking of nice weather, spring mm -hmm. has sprung, and that means the flowers are in full bloom. Yeah, and if you're a gardener or a candle lover, you'll want to stick around. The Katie's have the perfect craft for you, a flower pot candle. Check it out. I'm Katie. And I'm Katie. And welcome back to Crafting with the Katie's. Today we're going to be doing some candle making. I was inspired by an early episode, 1993 episode of Martha Stewart Living. So we're going to be making some candles inside of these pots. A very springy type of activity. Yeah, after you make them, you can take them outside while you're eating your barbecue or whatever outdoor meal you're having. So let's go ahead and get started. We need a couple things to get this craft started. You'll need a terracotta pot, a penny, and hot glue. You'll also need supplies to make a candle. We have soy wax, cotton string for the wick, and a pot to melt the wax in. Fill your pot with a little bit of water. We're going to double broil our wax. No need to stir, but definitely keep an eye on it. It does melt pretty quickly. I have this cotton wick here. Um, I bought this on Amazon a couple of years ago. What we're gonna do is, because it is a little thin, we're gonna cut three of them and braid them together, and then that'll do a cleaner, better burn for our bigger candles. This will keep the candle from tunneling and give us a better burn. Tunneling is when the wick burns straight down, creating a hole instead of burning evenly. Dip your wick in the wax and let it dry. Glue it to your penny. After that dries, glue your penny over the drainage hole. Make sure the penny is completely secured to the pot before you pour. Wrap your wick's tail around a skewer or pencil. This helps keep the wick at the center of the candle. Carefully pour your wax to the desired height. So Katie has finished her candle. Mine, however, it kind of turned into a big mess. I guess the glue did not seal on the bottom of the pot, so you definitely want to make sure that that is nice and sealed. Before. Yeah, you want to seal that drainage hole that you usually want to have for plants because you don't want the wax draining through. And it kind of sucks because I thought it was fine and then it obviously wasn't. As you can see, all the wax kind of dripped into the pot here. So thankfully we had this underneath to catch all the wax. But um, yeah, mine's kind of a fail though. So just make sure that you have uh, your drainage covered up. Yeah, so I think my penny sealed a little bit better. There might be, might have been a crack in the bottom. That could have been an issue. Who knows? Yeah, so my terracotta pot, we've got it all filled up. We're gonna leave it alone for about 24 hours and check and see if there's any sort of issue. Um, and then you're gonna be ready to go and able to light these up outside. Yeah, this was a really cute idea though. Thank you, we'll, we'll try it again. Yeah. We'll try it again for you, Katie. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye everyone.